Welcome back, everybody, to another Grizzled Beagle playthrough. We, this is part six of Dark Souls, and we will be taking on the Gaping Dragon, which is as disgusting as it sounds. Dark Souls. So, let's get into it. So, I have a serious question, Johnson. About? Uh, have you gotten your fire starter badge yet? Uh, I think, uh, well, actually, Smushy went through the Dan Beard program in Boy Scouts, so he got his, uh, his fire, his totem chip, all in the same time. Ah, good job. Yeah. That's right, I was a Boy Scout. I am, I am so lost right now, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Totally not a Boy Scout. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. No, I was a Girl Scout, I just was in it for the cookies. <laughs> They never got suspicious. Yes, that is a that is a euphemism for something. I don't know what. I'll just pretend like I do. That always made me feel really in the know when I was a teenager. I just Start laughing. Yeah, I just feel like <laughs> I am worldly and knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at what is ostensibly a funny joke. <laughs> ostensibly. He's such a good sprinter. Yes, he is. Watch him plunge through that water. Why do you hate my usage of the word ostensibly? Actually, do I you don't. Hate that so much. It's just uh, you I use it enough word. to make me notice it. <laughs> That's kind of the. I love that word. I don't know why. I just love that word. I I probably use it inappropriately, but <laughs> I still love it. It's inappropriately used inappropriately. People, people oh, are shocked. Man. I made one reference at a place I used to work about not enjoying when people use the word literally when they don't actually mean literally, and. <laughs> This girl at my work decided to take that as a challenge <laughs> to use the word literally in every sentence that she possibly could as often as possible. Like, I'm going to be honest, she literally you literally beg for it. All the time. You literally I, beg I for it. I kind of did. I'm a sucker for attention. Oh, by the way, this is, uh, this is Dark Souls' first sewer level. Ooh, sewer levels. Yeah, you know I love those. I for more information on sewer levels, please check out our Left 4 Dead 2 videos. <laughs> you've polished your armor so much you're glowing. Yes, it is. Um, that's actually because he eats radioactive waste. That's what Smushy lives off of. I like to think it's a visual representation of his smell, like pig pen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it looks like a good smell. Oh. Well, oh Smushy's my God, wearing Smushy's a lot glowing. of Alright, so this guy is down here butching. At least I think that's what Butching. it's called. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. And if it but, is, I don't think it means what you think it means. I think it does. I think he, he's, he's got some meat and he is butching. Just, wow, he's that got dog. A, uh, he's got a Motley Crue haircut. Um, he drives a truck. Um, <laughs> listens to a lot of Cheryl Crow and Dido. Whoop, you lost me. Oh, those are musical references. Dog, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alright, watch this cruel dog. Oh! I hate <laughs> he has wings! He can follow me anywhere! I assumed it was like, he, he was like Voltron or or Power Ranger or something. That was his that was his powered up form. Man, was Voltron as a bad of a cartoon as I remember? Or was I just prejudiced no, to the young age? Voltron was awesome. What is wrong with you? Which that one was dog terrible? Dog hates tables. <laughs> that dog just hates tables, man. Well, look at him. He's it's an anti table dog. To play. It makes you weird that he would oh, keep him in his restaurant. He fell through the floor. <laughs> Oh, he wants to butch me. I must, like, go. My, I must go. My planet needs me. He's like he's like the Flash. He can move his molecules so fast that he can phase shift. Oh, God. Can we please not talk about the Flash and his stupid powers of contrivance? Wow, that was angry. All right, changing you subject. You don't like the Flash? I hate the Flash. He has the stupidest powers. Dingo hates something. Ring the bell. Light the beacons. <laughs> <laughs> also, it bothered me that the uh, that butcher was using a pointy object with no discernible blade in a swinging motion. He knew it was hopeless because uh, Smushy is wearing his butch-proof armor. <laughs> I want to point out that he was using his cleaver as a bludgeoning object and not a cutting object. Well, it's like a, it's like a Scottish claymore. I mean, it's not about being <laughs> sharp; it's about being heavy and having a bit of an edge. You really just kind of throw it at him, and it does all the damage for you. He was trying to hit you with you. the side of it. Why does he have so many dogs? Look, 
with the size of that thing, it really doesn't matter. Now, I wonder what the health hey, inspection many... score would be of this place. I would say, <laughs> uh, depends, are we going on a regular health inspection or a Taco Bell health inspection? Well, I, I, was, I was just thinking it might be like one of those restaurants, like a Taco Bell, where you go in and the air feels dirty, but it still gets an A. <laughs> 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 the, the air feels dirty. Look, I can literally see the bacteria floating through this place. Literally. There. <laughs> Go left, young lad. Go left, young A virus young has mutated. A virus has mutated and is ordering tacos. <laughs> oh, by the way, don't open his barrel with a sword. He does not like that. Yeah. That, uh... Was he just, like, You're sitting in a barrel? A <laughs> you know, I really it would be funnier if I released him from the barrel and he said, That was my home and cried. <laughs> I, have, I have nothing else you in the monster. world. Why have you done this? <laughs> Smushy is a monster. We established long ago that Smushy was a monster. It, it really bothers me that we keep finding so many people stuck in barrels. <laughs> like they just keep ending up in barrels. You'd think eventually people would learn Stay away from barrels. Yeah, well, uh, I think they really never them. learned. They never learned how to properly do a barrel roll. That's true. Aww. Star Fox <laughs> wasn't and here to help they them. They keep finding themselves. They keep well, it's Peppy. Uh, they keep finding themselves in quite a pickle. No, Peppy <laughs> says to do a barrel roll. Star Fox is the one who does it. <laughs> let's do a roll. let's get technical. Counterpoint, counterpoint all of them can presumably do a barrel roll. Actually, uh, barrel Peppy himself cannot. No, 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 he said doo -doo. Yeah. What? Yeah, Peppy cannot. That's why he tells other people to do it. It excites him <laughs> to see someone else do those it. Who, <laughs> those who can't do teach. Oh, I don't uh, agree with that at statement. At the risk of being... <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why you wouldn't agree with that statement. Um... Also, uh, just to be a humongous nerd about this, what he's telling you to do is not a barrel roll, but an aileron roll. Two completely different things. Boy, you must Someone's live on Wikipedia. The internet. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to be no, I wanted to be a uh, fighter pilot when I grew up. I did too, and, but I didn't uh, learn didn't anything. Happen. That's crazy. Mainly because because of uh, Dingo's need to eat fighter planes. <laughs> he knows how to capture Look, it's them. a lifestyle choice. It is a lifestyle choice, okay? I'm like Klinger from that episode of MASH where he decided he was going to send a jeep home by eating it piece by piece. Out of curiosity, um, when you saw the Avengers and Hulk jumps on the top of the fighter jet, did you critique his form when it comes to grabbing one midair? Because, I mean, obviously if you eat them, you're going to have to try that at some point. I don't really know. I wait till they're on the ground. <laughs> Why? Some sort of creeping? Get out of here. I thought that uh, plane eaters like to hunt. They don't want to be fed. <laughs> yeah, but it's well, like it it's like hunting. Person. It's like a lion hunting wildebeest. You got to catch them at the watering hole. Like you can't catch them out in the wild. You know where they're in their in their natural habitat. You've you got to catch them when they're feeding. You've never seen a crocodile jump on a gazelle in the middle of a field? Because I have seen that. <laughs> I, can't say, I can't say that I have. Those elusive ground crocodiles, <laughs> wily, wily land croc. Actually, they, they just parachute pops in. Out of the dirt, grabs it, rolls, and <laughs> they, drags they, it underneath they the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. parachute in. Yeah, that National Geographic article. Look it up sometime. <laughs> Watch as the dingo stalks the fighter jet. <laughs> oh, no, Steve Irwin, we miss you. Please come back. <laughs> Uh, but I guess this well, is kind of really important. The... Uh, I've given uh, Smushy the ability to throw fire from his face. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> I think you mean his hand. I no, mean, I think it's his face. Where you're the... oh, okay, face, hand, it's all the same thing. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. He may have multiple faces, you don't know. <laughs> it's oh, like God. that one character from Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> hey, I really like that, that was movie. such a sad movie. I really like it. such a sad movie. I wasn't really scared of that dude, though. <laughs> well, you, dude, you're, I mean, you're an his adult. His eyeballs on his hands. <laughs> well, no, so he even tries to grab you. I wasn't really. Poke him. Well, just like, <laughs> no. If he tries to grab you, just put your hand out for a handshake. I mean, it's a normal <laughs> reaction that people will want to shake hands. I mean, that's that's just what adults do. And then whenever you do, he goes for the handshake, you just poke him in the palm. <laughs> uh, it would be interesting to. Uh... 
you could probably kill him with Purell. Like if, if he came at you. <laughs> it's in my eye. <laughs> Why did I want to say it at a time? <laughs> it seems like this idea should have struck it me. It does raise an interesting point. Like, how is he going to wash his hands? Well, you know, he can take the eyes out. <laughs> it's That's like even prosthetics. worse. Yeah, because remember, they're on a plate, and then he picks them up and sticks them in his hands. Oh, yeah. So theoretically, that. he could yeah, stick them in his uh, nipples. Uh, yeah, I've got something on my have... face. <laughs> it's a like -like. <laughs> get a little, Get a little something right there. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's right there. It's. You were attacked by a like like. This is when Smushy starts using proactive. Boom! Tough acting to acting. So are we saying this is some sort of fungus? Is it the fungus I'm it's among a like -like. us? It, it actually is a like-like. Like. And it comes down like a sky crocodile. On. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. First it was land crocodiles, now it's sky crocodiles. I told you they you paratroop in. Out. I'm just imagining crocodiles with those old aviator goggles on their head. <laughs> Taking down gazelle. <laughs> They've got the uh, the RAF bomber jackets and the silk scarves. <laughs> Righto, mates. There we go. Time to take this out some good sales. The bloody gazelles won't know what it am I. They dine well. <laughs> Tonight we dine in hell. <laughs> I'm, now I'm imagining some sort of weird crocodile 300. <laughs> mix and that's I don't know I don't know how I feel about that. Take the gazelles at the <laughs> strangely at the, uh, aroused hot gates where their numbers count for nothing. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, just, I said he's gonna take your their shield. main mode. <laughs> their main mode of attack is just smashing their. I guess what ostensibly is their face into your body. It's kind of a face. Ostensibly. I used ostensibly. <laughs> No, I did. I was waiting to see if you did. Ah, makes me happy. I refuse. I, I refuse to change again for you. I've hey. already tried to change other things. <laughs> I told you I'm fine with you being a man. This is. I've never <laughs> asked for anything else. Bonfire lit. Yeah, uh, this is actually a pretty good farming area for uh, stuff to upgrade weapons. Do so, I do a little bit of that. But I have to speed everything up because this video is so long. <laughs> yeah, I think you're really starting to get uh, you're getting a little dependent. I'm addicted. <laughs> you're getting a little addicted. yeah. Especially I'm addicted. I think you have a problem, brother. <laughs> Immediately, just turn right around, get smashed in the face. <laughs> yeah, he rubbed some fire on my face. Our uh, glorious Hanzo Steel does nothing to these guys. Pretty much, no. The fire. Oh, fire much more <laughs> Don't forget. How is this working? They're, they're, they look like they're mainly moisture. <laughs> it dries them out. They're actually alcohol based. Oh, okay. Shredder? Yeah, by the way, I'm about to kill Splinter. Well, I'll kill him in a minute. <laughs> he was. These boxes were already broken. <laughs> Do you hear him, Virginia? I, st I don't know what that's referencing. I've heard you do that like three times. Look, there's Splinter. He's cute. <laughs> it's also, he, uh, he's actually a little bit smarter than most of the other enemies in this game. If, uh, if he gets a little too close to that gate, you can poke at him with a weapon, and you'll actually damage him. <laughs> but he won't, at that, after that, he will not go near the gate again. Like, he won't go near that wall. He learns. So he's, he, he did learn. He's like the velocir... The rats are like the velociraptors of this game. I think that rat's they still alive. Open doors? No, I just kept kicking it while I was trying to pick it up. No, no, the one on the far left. I think that rat was still alive. No, he's... Go he's, back, he's really go dead. back. He would be chasing me otherwise. Rats are unfriendly creatures. Was he, was he in that box? He was. <laughs> How long has he been in that box? <laughs> Waiting. He was just trying Years. to thank you. <laughs> My time is now. And then he dies. <laughs> they said it was Curses crazy to walk. again. <laughs> said it was crazy to sit in this box. Oh, there's Splinter again. <laughs> what was that? Hey, that was that was my favorite. <laughs> Why did you do that? Yeah, I broke his favorite pustule. My toys. 
My balloons. Oh, Jack Nicholson, you were the better Joker. <laughs> I'm not going to enter that debate. Oh. They both have redeeming <laughs> factors. Is... Yeah, except uh, Heath Ledger's redeeming factor was not, that... Not entering he... that debate. You will not goad me into it. That will take the entire video. <laughs> oh, look at Dancing <laughs> Man. <laughs> I like how the rats can be pumped up by some dude dancing. That is the yeah. best. Like, those rats are just super hyped about the fact that that guy's dancing. They actually look pretty bored. <laughs> <laughs> they're super pumped, but they're also lethargic. Oh, he's dead. That was the rat priest. Oh, I got his trident. Oh, you got yours! Got the trident. Yeah, oh, please. I know you can't hear me, but I really hope you pull it out and dance. <laughs> please. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll use it at a later date. It's not like it evaporates. How many times, if I had a dollar for every time I said, I really hope you pull it out and dance, <laughs> I would be a rich man. <laughs> well, it is it is a catchphrase. You just don't let it be recorded nearly as much for some reason. <laughs> Goes on for posterity's sake. These, so these rats all have the mange. Become, Smushy has become just nice. an exterminator, pretty much. <laughs> well, he's in hunting. The same way that Mario was an exterminator, yes. He's hunting for the turtles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're hiding in boxes. <laughs> I'm telling you, the rats are the smartest enemies in this entire game. Except that didn't work at all. <laughs> that was <laughs> terrible. Well, they, have, they have horrible timing. <laughs> rats are not known for their sense of time. Like they are not very temporally accurate. Which is why they enjoy watching other people dance. Yeah, I mean they like, can dance if, if they only. want to. They can leave their friends behind. Oh god! I mean, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a music reference. That's a music reference, and Johnson got it. Yeah, it's one I got. It's just why? <laughs> why? Because if why their friends don't here? dance, if they don't dance, then they're no friends mm -hmm. of mine. Yeah, I get most most uh, references of music prior to let's say 2000. I get. But mm. it's a very large span of music. Yes, it is. Well, I listened from 1940 <laughs> onward, but right around 2000, oh, I got sick of it. Oh, that's a trap! That's a trap! Oh, those are basilisks. Yes, basilisks stay the kill. frick away from them. <laughs> they look you see that little? See They're that the little, turtles. Yeah, they they look like that. <laughs> uh, you see that little skull meter? That's curse. Curse kills you. Yes, it does. It's actually oh, really horrible. Nobody told me that the first time I ever encountered them. It was a disaster. No, it's, it's Dark Souls. Nobody told you to do anything <laughs> the first time. Uh, but actually, these are the Ninja Turtles. It's just the ones that Michael Bay designed. So they look like crap. <laughs> oh, that is... Oh, <laughs> so disappointing. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. The reviews I'm... are coming in slowly, and everybody hates it. Good. They've ruined my childhood forever. Michael Bay okay. wants to be in a room alone with your childhood so that he can just destroy it. <laughs> the only thing Michael Bay wants to be in a room alone with is uh, Megan Fox. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Fox exploding, if you know what I mean. <laughs> he has got such a hard on for, for Megan Fox. It's really scary because she has toe thumbs. <laughs> Hideous, freakish toe thumbs. Like, I'm not saying I'm a perfect 10. But, <laughs> but you're like a 9-7, 9-8. Well, in comparison to her toe thumbs, yes. That is a deal breaker. Well, you are a dingo. So. I mean, hey, dingoes are beautiful too. Why are you not <laughs> wearing that ring? Majestic dogs. Oh my goodness, you have a jewelry fetish. Every time I pick something up, put it on. Dude, put I'm it on dog. and model it I'm for a, us. I'm a feral dog. I enjoy <laughs> shiny things. But even, like, I picked I up mean, a sack. A I picked up a sack and you wanted me to put it on. I think you're just like a fashion I want you to, I want fetisher. I want you to put on every... Dark Souls <laughs> is nothing but a dress-up simulator. Everybody knows it. It's the dress-up simulator. I actually use it to in. chop things. Just, just put it on and dance around a bit for him. <laughs> Do a full spin. No, no, no. Slower. Mm. <laughs> Slower. Like that one scene from True Lies. Posture. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Barf. <laughs> oh, Lord. You are really on the actresses today. Leave the poor uh, people alone. Did, 
I was about to say, please, if you don't go get that shiny, I'm probably going to have a stroke. Th that's the next direction I have to go. Don't worry, I'm going to go through there regardless. Uh, it's just yeah, I want to go get I, everything. I, I was bracing myself for pain. <laughs> <laughs> These are my stairs. They're mine. You can't have them. <laughs> she loves me for me. There's a trap. Watch him stick to me. This no. was actually kind of frustrating. Watch <laughs> oh, it's Jimmy the Frog. <laughs> he, he come all the way across with me. It's a Jimmy Frog. Actually, I think it's Michelangelo. <laughs> the best turtle. Whoa, not getting into that either. Boy, you are, you are <laughs> really right. wanting to take up this entire thing with me <laughs> arguing with you. <laughs> You know I'm right. Yeah, I'm There's not. There's no conceivable argument. There's no conceivable argument you could have to that. I'll let you have that. I'm not low self-esteem enough to be baited. All right. <laughs> this is the but internet. I'm a master That's at all it. we do. <laughs> yeah, you are a master, master baiter. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm amused by small things because I'm a six-year-old. <laughs> well, a six-year-old dog. A six-year-old has to be amused by small things. It's all they have. I'm not entirely sure where you're going with that. I'm right, assuming you, it's... Let you yeah. do the work. Alright, I'm just going to let that one go. <laughs> just watch me destroy these pustules. I want to see what the light What is the green? What is the green on the rat's nose? Copper. Is that the ooze? It's oxidized copper. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Kind of. I don't know why <laughs> the rats are snorting copper. It's delicious. Because well, what else are they going to snort? <laughs> it smells so good. That's where they keep all their pennies. They keep Come all their on, pennies baby, in their sinuses. Make it smell so good. Why would you keep pennies in your sinuses? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Everywhere they go, where you hear them you jingling. <laughs> the ching, real question ching, is why? Ching, ching. Why don't you keep them in your sinuses? Valid. Because who carries change anymore? <laughs> What sort of Neanderthal carries, like, physical money anymore? Neanderthal? I, I, I only as use as I get a coins. Mm. As soon as I get a paycheck, I go and make it into pennies. <laughs> I, I get paid in Purina. Boy, they must really I love you at the bank. <laughs> uh, could you exchange this for pennies and then put it in my account? <laughs> Can I just put it in your account? No, no, no. It must be pennies. I, I gotta see the pennies. Watch you count them all. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a giant, a giant coffee, uh, coffee can in the backyard filled with pennies. <laughs> it's seven feet wide. Hey, it's really big. Dom Hall. Oh, I see me. He has got the fanciest hat. It has no eye holes. <laughs> I defy this. It's where we're going. We don't need eyes. <laughs> Maybe yeah, they're in his hands. Horizon. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> this one requires me to run back and forth all over the map, so I really had to speed up this part because it's just a long way. Anyway, there, there's that shortcut oh, by the next way, to Splinter. Yeah. Thank you, Master Splinter, for being a landmark. <laughs> yeah, this, this is as fast as she goes here. <laughs> I'm giving her all she's got, guys. <laughs> Alright, uh, quick question. Who is the better Scotty, the original Scotty or Sean, uh, Sean uh. Penn? <laughs> Simon Pegg. Sean Penn. Okay, I'm going to say the original Scotty was the better Scotty, however, Simon Pegg didn't do a bad job. I think he did a fine job. They all did a good job. Also, I don't really know what constitutes a good Scotty. I mean, he's kind of a, he's kind of a novelty character. Something you pull out of the back of a Spencer well, store. You shut what? your filthy mouth. <laughs> See, you can be baited. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're a master at it. <laughs> this guy needs a raw, some raw steak in a box. I mean, it's true. <laughs> He's a feral dog. I will fall for it every time. I have maybe some peanut butter, if you know what I'm saying. Put a baby on a fishing pole, and you will follow it to the ends of the earth. 
That's actually how I work out. I put a baby on a fishing pole, I strap that to my back so it's dangling in front of me, and then I get on a treadmill. <laughs> it's One like day, Looney baby. Tunes. One day. <laughs> it's like Looney Tunes, but so much darker. Alright, I'm doing some crazy damage with this sword now, by the way. Crazy <laughs> Crazy. Literally crazy damage. Instead of numbers, it pops up with, like, weird, obtuse ideas. Like just... Come on down to Smushy's da Smushy's Damage Emporium. We got crazy deals. Alright, here's Splinter. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> you, you gotta you know, drop on his oh. back and stab your sword. I'm gonna set him you know, on fire gonna... first. Toss fire at him, yeah. Nope, oh, there's half and of it. That is why <laughs> and that is why you get pyromancy. Because pyromancy in this game is so broken. Yeah, and I thought I would shoot him with some arrows after that and then realized I forgot to buy arrows. So this is just <laughs> me looking through to see if I have arrows, and I don't. Uh that would be because I think that's the nope, bolt no category. It it, it actually category. was the bolts, but I don't have any arrows I checked afterwards, so it was pointless anyway. So I stabbed him in the head. <laughs> Problem solved. A soldier's death, Splinter. <laughs> I'll see you in Elysium. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. <laughs> yeah, he only said that yeah. like 15 bajillion times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that doesn't really make... That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense whenever you think about it, because really, uh, Shredder hated Splinter more than anybody. Oh, and you missed a shiny up on the top, by the way. Yeah, yeah, um, I did. He really hated... <laughs> He, he hated Splinter more than the turtles, Everybody but he was always focused on eating. He was always <laughs> focused on turtle soup, but he never talked about eating like rat chops or maybe because turtles are actually kebabs. a thing that people eat and rats are not. Oh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to disagree with you mightily on that one. Rats are a delicacy in most of the world. I guess parts of the world where they like disease. I mean, they're pretty heavy disease you carriers. Cook it all. Have you ever Have you ever seen like? Some of the crazy stuff that lives in pork? There's yeah. a reason. Oh, hey, Kirk is here. All right. I figured you'd be complaining that I wasn't going to run into Kirk. This well, is Captain Kirk, by the way. Look at him. Obviously, Captain <laughs> Kirk. See the spikes? The <laughs> He's Note a very the spikes. Personality. It's really weird that we were talking about Star Trek and then all of a sudden Kirk shows up. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a pretty good. I honestly kill. forgot William he was Shatner here. Heard us. We summoned him. That is not so, William Shatner. He's way too thin for that. Somewhere in the world, William Shatner's going. Someone's talking about Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> I must log in to Dark Souls. I, I can <laughs> hear them talking about me. Boxes calls up. <laughs> calls up Leonard Nimoy on the phone. Shatner, how'd you get this number? <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling from inside your house. I'm actually in your bathroom. <laughs> There's no toilet paper in here. I could use some. <laughs> <laughs> the worst Shatner impressions ever. <laughs> Every really Shatner impression is pretty bad, though, because, I mean, the fun thing is to exaggerate how he talks. That's... Yeah, I'm that's a rocket much... man. Rock it, man. <laughs> rocket man. There's a space yeah. between every syllable. The only better captain than Kirk is... Yes, it is nice, Solaire. Uh -huh. So Lair's on the other side going, eh, am I really up for this? I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's get her done. Make it quick. I have a three o'clock. <laughs> this is uh, uh, this is a great, great boss design. It's it's a really not the most fun one to fight, but this thing oh, this thing so, is just icky looking. Uh, oh look, it's this is a little baby alligator. Oh look at him there. Like a, a paratrooper no, crocodile. Like a, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Why do you need teeth in your chest? Explain to me the Are biology. He's he's the Sarlacc. He's like the early stage development of a Sarlacc. Is that that thing in Star Wars? It's the it's the big sand anus from Star Wars. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, I actually like to imagine oh, he the does gaping look dragon. Like the Resident Evil bad guy. Yeah, he's just 
He is one freaky looking monster. And by the way, Solaire has not a clue how to fight him. Not a clue. Yeah, Solaire's an idiot in this fight. <laughs> he's, he's pretty good on some other fights. Yeah. Uh, not this one. But on this one, I just use him to give me Get the chance tail. to cut the tail. Yeah. If you don't cut the yeah, tail, he can tail. smash your face with it. It is... Cut the tail. Like that, but you get, a, you get a cool weapon Street that you're never going to use. Yep, exactly. Alright, so no tail. And... Oh, Slayer's throwing lightning bolts. Yeah, he is, but <laughs> he's also still useless, so... <laughs> there's the problem. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It makes sense for him to use the lightning bolts, though, on the dragons, because if you remember from the opening cutscene, blah, 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 Dark Souls, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost there. But yeah, something cutscene, something, something, Dark Side. Alright. <laughs> something, 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 Dark Soul, something, something. Night Lordren. Soul. The Lord Vessels. Now watch Solaire. Watch him. He's about to get smashed just straight up. Doesn't even move. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the Rocky approach, man. Oh, it is definitely yeah, the Rocky approach. Face, dude. Tank it with your face. Yeah, honestly. Obviously, if he <clears throat> gets attacked uh, enough, he'll uh, get tired. I think Solaire is really just a huge goon. And he's never really seen a girl before, so maybe he's just assuming that uh, the gaping dragon is some kind of female. And he's really excited. Well, he's definitely sitting a little close. Oh, I think he said nope, nope. A little bit of help. Solaire. There we go. Up, up there. <laughs> Bye, Solaire. Yeah, he does get harder to fight when there's no distraction because sometimes he'll just follow Still you around, you, gaping. <laughs> The, the tail's gone, Johnson. Johnson, tail's gone. He's actually Johnson. pretty hard to hit. <laughs> Mostly because you're swinging at a non-existent piece of anatomy. Hey, just wait. He's, I think he's trying he, uh, to kill the phantom tail. Sometimes he will try to swing the tail at you, even though it's not there. That's pretty funny. That's <laughs> that's entertaining. <laughs> he's like one of he's like pains. a pit bull. It waves his little bob tail. Whoa. <laughs> Look at his Look noodly at all, like, insides. Weird... <laughs> yeah, his anatomy doesn't make a lot of sense. It's like having a huge head. <laughs> um, they don't really but he can't see when he opens no. up. Like when he pulls back, he that's can no true. longer see. It's just a terrible system. Well, that's that's <laughs> why he's well, trying to swing his non-existent tail at you. Yeah. All right. So the the concept behind it is that he was one of the immortal dragons. Like he was one of the everlasting dragons. Um, one of the few that survived and he just allowed his hunger to consume his mind basically and so his physiology has changed in accordance with that so now he's literally just a monster based entirely off of hunger and greed so hmm. he has a huge mouth <laughs> uh, yeah the answer is Dark Souls <laughs> whoa he actually hit almost got face. me hit him in the face no, I like to stay swung at his fairly tiny clear. Head. The idea is to wait for him to walk. You see how he does that stupid shuffle walk? Yeah, he stops yeah. and then you do go the in and shuffle. you do the Charmin. Charmin strategy. He's kind of a boring boss, just to be completely honest. He's not <laughs> fun to fight. He's he's interesting looking. He is pre he's easy he's easy to fight. Uh, I do I personally like his character design. I I agree with you though that he is kind of a boring boss. I think he's a, he's a definitely a unique looking character design, but it is one of those situations that if this was in the real world, that thing would die so fast, <laughs> an inability to see what's I in mean, front of it. Hold on, against, like, what are you talking about, against like a normal person? Because I gotta be honest, I don't think I could really kill that thing. No, I mean in nature. I thought I said that, but how would he in nature? Eat? What would what would be anything? It like, would it would starve to death. Could... My point is it would starve to death. It tries to uh, smash down, but it's really slow. It can't see. It would Disagree. never catch anything. Disagree. <laughs> sloths still exist. Well, sloths eat plants, which are even slower than sloths. They also live in trees. And, and the gaping, it's never <laughs> Why do you say that? Why do you? How, because what he's trying to eat world? you. <laughs> That's a self-defense mechanism. He cut off his tail. Yeah, very rarely do you see yeah, sharp teeth on herbivores, sir. Yeah, those teeth are not the teeth of a. Hold on. Uh, All right. Herbivore. Counterpoint. Counterpoint. Elephants have tusks. They don't eat them. Sharp teeth. 
Yeah, two. That's one type of animal, though. I'm just saying you said they don't have sharp teeth. They have enormous, massive tusks. A tusk is not a tooth. It's a bone. Yes, it is. <laughs> God. What do you think teeth are made of? They are not uh, connected to the skull permanently. They can move. They can come in and out. Uh, your fingers aren't connected to your skeleton permanently either. But our fingers aren't teeth. My finger is not a tusk either. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but you said it was a bone. Like I don't. What? Um, you're saying that they're teeth because they're not attached to your skeleton. But as soon as the sinews and stuff rot away, it's your a, fingers will come off too. It's a completely different type of uh, thing, and oh, they don't use it to eat. Because you say it is. And me and science. <laughs> Just me and science. <laughs> All right, well, that is the end of uh, the Gaping Dragon video. So join us next week while we go back to the asylum to find Jimmy. Next week is the hunt for Jimmy. It really is. Jimmy! The hunt for Jimmy. Jimmy! Yes. The so, hunt for Jimmy all right, October. All right, hold up, hold up. Lead us Tusk out. Tusk our teeth. Tusk our teeth, according to Google. Wait, Wait what? <laughs> Tusk Johnson? are elongated, continuously growing front teeth. Johnson. I stand corrected then. Mm -hmm. However, I will Save. say that two two teeth do not the overall <laughs> tooth design is what determines is, whether or yeah. not it's a herbivore a dragon. or a carnivore. Your it's argument a dragon. It doesn't have to follow a. I'm just saying. Your argument is still in name, but technically you are no. correct. Proof of concept with elephant <laughs> technically. could be translated over. Technically. technically. And te <laughs> ostensibly. <laughs> All right, you want to lead us out, Crestle? Right. So if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you have any any comments on the um, existence on the of herbivore teeth. carnivore <laughs> conversation, leave them in the comment section below, either here on our Facebook page or on the Something Awful thread. Also, be Back sure to go over to our Facebook arc. page. Give that give that a like. <laughs> go over to our our uh, Twitter and follow us there if you'd like. Uh, I think that's just about everything and. Uh, also a shout out to something awful as always so for grizzled beagle playthroughs this is kreslov this is dookie dingo and this is shotsam glory hallelujah amen